Yo, what's good, everybody, man? It's your boy Kobe in the mix. Sheesh. Today, y'all, we got the Nets at the Bucks, man. For any videos you guys want me to react to, all you guys have to do is comment down below this video or hit me at my Twitter or Instagram at Kobe in the mix. Most importantly, be sure to hit that post notification bell and also uh, like, share, and subscribe if you're new. It helps out the channel tremendously. And if you guys hit that post notification bell, you guys will be notified after every single video. But you guys see a big ass smile on my face, man. Bro, the NBA season is back, man. I wish Kyrie was playing, man. But Kyrie still has that fucking thing going on with the vaccination shit. It's stupid that he has to get the shit in order to play, bro. Because it's mandated in his state, bro. But it's just fucking stupid, bro. You know what I'm saying? He shouldn't have to get vaccinated. I don't want him to. And I'm glad he's standing strong, you know, for what he believes in. If he doesn't want to get that shit, just don't get that shit. But eventually, I think it's going to re resolve in him getting traded or something else is going to happen. But I feel like if he doesn't want to get vaccinated, they should just test this man's every fucking game before game, before the game, like a day before the game. You know what I mean? They should just continuously, continuously, continuously just keep testing this man just to make sure he doesn't have it. You know what I'm saying? If he doesn't want to get it. I mean, that's the only... That's the only solution I could think of, unless they're just going to trade this man. Because I don't think he's going to get the vaccine, you know what I'm saying? And then a lot of people in America don't want to get it, you know what I'm saying? But we're not going to dig too deep into that scandal. Like I said, again, it's opening night, man. We got the Nets and the Bucks, so I'm super excited. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoy this video, because I know I am. Let's do what it do and get right into the motherfucking video. Rising start. Not just now we are gonna be skipping over a little bit, y'all. Uh, pause and skipping over because I don't want to take I don't want to take the chance of them blocking this video. So we're just gonna kind of just you know pause, talk in between, and then resume, and then you know it's gonna be a pattern, so back to back, talk, stop, talk in between. Yeah. Brooke Lopez stretching out the floor, man. 5-2, man. That's the thing about Brook Lopez, man. He can really stretch out the floor for you, man. He is a player that you want on your team, man, because it just makes it so much more easier for anybody on the wings, corners, or the point guard, the ISO. The, you know what I mean? It just makes it just fairly easy to have a big man that can shoot because you can have cuts going right down the middle. You know what I'm saying? It just spaces out the floor, man, because it's not so cluttered. You know what I'm saying? Or they play the pick and roll like Claxton is doing right now. They get KD open. Off the fade. And yeah! But I'm just playing, though. Claxton can shoot that bitch, though. Everybody on the Brooklyn Nets can shoot. Blake Griffin even started shooting that bitch. Damn. Giannis, one man wrecking crew. Who can stop him? The Suns literally had to build a wall to stop this, man. It's fucking crazy out here. Middleton in transition for three. It is 7-4 right now, man. First quarter, man. I don't know who I got. I don't know who I got, man. This is definitely a playoff rematch, man. A conference. I mean, a semifinals rematch right here. I'm just going to skip over a little bit, y'all. We ain't going to skip too much. 18-8 right now. Connaughton! Oh, my God. 21-8. Going crazy. You know James Harden wants that ISO. That pick ISO, Paul. He looking good out there, though. He looking good. He's still getting his buckets with this new rule in tech. You can't draw, you know, you can't draw a foul no more. Listen, you can't shoot into your defender or flop. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna George call that no more. Drew Holiday. For the three. Still looking good out there. Has not. Has not missed a single touch since last season. Connelton, man. Cuss going right down the middle. Look at that ring. We stopped just in time. Look at that ring. Okay, Milwaukee. We see you. It's a nice ass ring right there. Okay, she got the wedding ring and she got the fucking uh, <laughs> Milwaukee Bucks ring. That's tough though. That's a fucking tough ass ring. I can't even lie. Twenty three to thirty seven. Milwaukee is up right now. They up by twelve. Patty. They got Patty Mills on the team, man. Oh yeah, bro. Low key. Brooklyn might be a problem. Now you got a whole bunch of teams in the East, man. I will say this, though. Patty Mills on the three. Wet like water. I will say this. 
The only way Brooklyn will make this fucking finals, bro, and go all the way, is if they have Kyrie. See, they ain't calling the fouls on that, bro. That's tough. That's the hardest move right there to draw them fouls. But they ain't calling that. It's a new ruling tag, man. But anyway, bro, literally just hear me out on this real quick. Kyrie, if Kyrie is playing on the Brooklyn Nets and gets vaccinated or whatever, or if they, you know, find something out where he gets play and not get vaccinated or whatever, bro, I'm telling you they're going all the way. Now, without Kyrie, it's going to be tough. I don't think they're going to go all the way. I think it's going to be Milwaukee again. Milwaukee looking tough this year again, y'all. Even though they lost a couple of players, they did pick up a couple of players, you know, in the off season. But you got the Miami Heat. You got teams like the Miami Heat. You got the uh, you got a couple of other teams in the East. I'm not about to name all the teams in the East, but you got a couple of teams that has the potential of going crazy, man. Let alone with the Atlanta Hawks, man. Like it's gonna be a great ass season this year, man. You got my nigga Russell Westbrook, man. That nigga Russell Westbrook is on the Lakers. You already know we get a ring this year, y'all. You guys, I'm not. You guys already know I'm not a LeBron fan like that, but I will be. I will be rooting for the Lakers this year, just for the simple fact. That my nigga Russell Westbrook's on that right team. And he can finally get a ring. But I already know with the Lakers, bro, for every loss that they take, they're going to try to point the finger at Russell Westbrook, bro. And I ain't having that shit. I'm going to call it just like how I see it, man. If it's Russell Westbrook's fucking fault, I will call it out. I'm not going to be on no fanboy shit. You know what I'm saying? I admit if Russell Westbrook fucked up the game. But we already know Laker fans in the NBA. All these fucking analyzers, I mean, analyzers, all these analysis, analysts, yes, analysts, all these analysts and shit of basketball, they're going to try to point the finger at Russell Westbrook for every loss that the Lakers take, bro, just mark my fucking words, bro, but in the debut, man, this boy, Russell Westbrook is going to get a triple-double tonight, I'm telling y'all, man, Russell Westbrook is about to go crazy, mark my fucking words, bro, we got the Warriors and Lakers up next, too, let's get this shit. 61 to 55. Good back door by Giannis. Ah! Giannis, bro, what can you do? What can he not do? Ooh. Damn, good pass. Good ass play. Blake Griffin had to smile after that. He said they need to take care of the basketball. It's what you two have been talking about. Stephanie Reddy. Her last name is Reddy. Hello? And their pace on the offensive end was also not to their like. Get him one. Get him one. James Harden, get him one. Mm! Good shit. And one. And one. That should make it 65 to 73, man. Nine minutes and 48 seconds left into the game, man. Woo! Them boys right here, man. They looking tough. I ain't gonna cap. I'm glad we got this little semi-finals rematch, though. Just a thing, man. If Kevin Durant's foot wasn't on that line, man, Milwaukee would have been done. That would have possibly been Kevin Durant's ring, man. But the Suns was tough, man. So I don't know if they would have got through the Suns. If Milwaukee, I mean, if the Brooklyn Nets was, uh, if they beat Milwaukee. But I ain't gonna lie, man. The fucking Atlanta Hawks were tough, too, man. I ain't gonna catch. It probably would have been the Atlanta Hawks that would have made it. Shit. They gave the Milwaukee Bucks a run for their money, too. But I have noticed this season, man, like, starting this season, that Giannis is pulling that bitch with confidence now, like, confidently. He was pulling that bitch with confidence last season, but he's going to start shooting more every time, bro. Like, if you want to leave him open, he's just going to pull that bitch. Like how Kevin Durant just did on Giannis onto Takumpo. But I don't understand, too, man, like, with Kevin Durant, why not just put Giannis on him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, make it a tougher matchup for Kevin Durant to score, you know what I'm saying? A tougher time. But Kevin Durant going to score regardless because he's just a natural-born scorer, a natural-born killer. But, I mean, you can try. You can have better contests with Giannis being on him. And I just don't understand why you just don't put Giannis on Kevin Durant. Right now, I think the score looks like it's 74 to 85. It's coming down to crunch time for sure, for sure. 90 to 80. 91 to 80. We're going to watch it from the rest of this point. Cold-blooded James Harden has not lost his touch. He said, fuck this new rule in tag. He's still going to be getting buckets out here. Y'all motherfuckers think I'll get all my plays? I mean, get all my points from the free throw line? Y'all got another fucking thing coming. But he literally did tell Yai, bro. He did say to Giannis, bro, in that little interview, bro, that the only thing he can do is run and dunk, bro. That shit takes no skill. Like a player like me, bro, I got to learn how to dribble. I got to learn how to shoot. 
I gotta learn how to get open. I just don't have the ability to just run and slash like how Giannis does. I mean, he said it takes no skill. And I still remember that. I mean, that's true, man. But, hey, that dude Giannis is a fucking team, bro. You can hate on him. You can hate on this man. But he put the work in, bro. He didn't go trade to all these other teams to try to get a ring, bro. He stayed with the team he got drafted to. And they built it around him. And he trusted in his teammates. He had the opportunity to go to Golden State. He had the opportunity to go to Golden State. He had the opportunity to go to all these other teams, but he decided to resign and win a chip for Milwaukee Bucks, man. That's fucking love right there for your organization, bro. You don't have too many players in today's league that's really doing that shit. They're going all over the place to try to win a ring and super team and shit like that. So that's where the respect thing comes in for Giannis, man. And he's been really working hard for that ring, bro. And he deserved it, man. He was putting that work in. He was going crazy. People like to say, oh, injuries and... The COVID and injuries, all this and that. But it's not even all about that, man. You can't help it. This man can do this shit to you every fucking time, man. He, he fucking proved all his doubters wrong, man. And I ain't no Giannis fan, you know what I'm saying? But I just respect him. Like, the way he plays the game, man. Like, he's showing a young generation, man. When you put the work in. Like, I be telling you guys all the goddamn time on YouTube. If you put the work in... You will see the results at the end of the day. And Giannis is a perfect example. LeBron is a perfect example. Kevin Durant. Eh. If you can't beat him, join him. <laughs> Kevin Durant, my nigga, though, bro. That's my favorite player, bro. I ain't gonna cap. I'm taking Kevin Durant over LeBron any day, bro. Giannis, man, it's just crazy how long his fucking wingspan is, bro. How long his arms is. Like, he used to be lanky like Kevin Durant, bro, but he started hitting the gym crazy, going crazy, going crazy, and he's just a fusty little fucking gun man on the fucking take. Kevin Durant! Like, bro, Kevin Durant is a real life demi, bro. Like, what can he do to this man, bro? You know what I'm saying? But. Brooklyn is down right now, man. It's one on one of one fifteen. That's tough, man. Milwaukee looking like they're gonna be winning this game, taking it one and zero. Oh, they gonna be one and zero. Oh. The defending champions gonna win this game tonight. It look like they just too much to handle right now. There's no defense being played at all. No defense at all. No defense. We got a minute and twenty eight seconds left. Moves without the ball well Connaughton. A very good I don't know who that is. Wet line! What a 4 3! Damn, bro. Brooklyn really lost their first game, man. That's tough, man. Brooklyn just got to figure it out, man. Like I said again, they don't got no Kyrie, man. And that's. That's. That's, that, that's another natural born score, a natural born killer. A lot of people like to talk shit about Kyrie, but Kyrie is a fucking bucket. You know what I'm saying? They need him. They need him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. We got the Lakers and the Warriors up next, so stay tuned for that. And it's your boy, Kobe. And I'm going to see y'all boys in the next one. Peace. Sheesh.